Boom. What is up, fans and friends of the Amazonets Raw podcast? This is episode 90. It's Friday, the 15th of September, and we are recapping day two of Amazon Ads Accelerate. Uh, Amazon, Amazon Accelerate. It's not Amazon Ads Accelerate. It's the Amazon Accelerate event, which happened the last two days in Seattle in the US. And there have been lots of announcements. So we, we are, we and I recap these together with you for you. Uh, next week, we will, might go into a bit more details on individual of these on some of these individual announcements. One of the first main announcement was on flexible customer financing. This is a very interesting term for buy now, pay later. Amazon is offering a buy now, pay later program. They call it flexible customer financing. Uh, eligible products w from you, um, you can apply this, and then people would pay the sale, the the the, the price over a certain amount of time, and you would get the um, the amount of payment already after the shipping. So the customer can pay over six months. You would get the uh, uh, the price after the payment, but you have to pay a fee for this program. So it will be less profitable for you, but it could enable you to tap into audiences which are currently not, um, which can currently not afford your product. So basically a buy now, pay later option. I'm not sure how big that fees will be, uh, but it could help sell more units. The next announcement is create tailored coupons. So we have talked about this already this week. It's brand tailored promotions. If you have not heard the episode, skip back to Tuesday. I believe it was Tuesday where we talked about brand tailored promotion Monday or Tuesday. Check it out uh, on Spotify and Apple Podcasts and wherever you listen to or check out the YouTube episodes from this week. We had a deep dive on brand tailor promotion. They announced this is now out of beta and US um, brand registered sellers can use this now and it will also be launched in international markets, Canada, Mexico, Japan, and Europe region. The third announcement is on a new analytical um, capability, a new dashboard called it Customer Loyalty Analytics, which is a new customer behavior insights dashboard. This gives you... Um, hopefully, very interesting insights on the uh, customers based on loyalty. Um, so it will look at purchase patterns, um, perform it, and perform targeted engagement to increase your overall customer lifetime value. Customer lifetime value sounds very interesting to me. So they will basically, I feel like this will kind of be the the the, the kind of place where you have all your branded. Oh no, it's not that I feel like this. This this is kind of the announcement. So this will be kind of top of the customer engagement and brand tailored audience, uh, and brand tailored coupons, brand tailored promotions, um, thing. So they call this customer loyalty analytics. This will be enabling you to see all these audiences and then create promotions and email campaigns um, for these selected segments. Very interesting that they now bring this together. Um, we talked about this already earlier this week. New Fit Insight Tools. Fit Insight Tools is baked by artificial intelligence. Obviously, all these announcements are either machine learning driven, artificial intelligence driven, or some sort of computer vision driven. So everything around... Um, machines are doing the heavy lifting and bring you more insights and uh, better better performance lower costs and so on and so forth so the fit insights tool is looking into your returns data product reviews and uh, size charts help you identify and resolve size and fit issues with your catalog so this is really about your product and the product dimensions and the classification of those and um uh, it should help you to yeah, maybe uh, reduce the size of a product and then it fits into a lower tier uh, size and you pay lower fears, which would be good. Let's see how this turns out. Computer vision-based detection. So this is the fifth announcement here um, out of, I think, over 10 even. Uh, Amazon deploys computer vision technology using images of products that they are 
moving through Amazon fulfillment centers to identify different types of defects, such as expired products, damaged products, and so on. With the detection, Amazon will stop identified detects from reaching customers and provide our selling partners with a summary of identified issues and the root cause via Seller Central in 2024. So, yeah, let's see how this turns out. Um, but obviously, it's great if customers are not receiving damaged products. Um, but eventually, yeah, let's see how this turns out. Voice of customer dashboard. So this is interesting, uh, I feel, because it gives you kind of what people say about your product. Um, the, the current dashboard already provides you with breakdown of negative customer experience by the type of issue. So you can find and address product quality issues. And the announcement is more about what's coming next to this dashboard. Um, in the next coming months, we will launch three new and improved features that will surface additional insights to help you build long-term customer loyalty. Long-term customer loyalty is a very big topic at Amazon. Um, the enhancements include key phrases from customer feedback, category benchmarking, and trend analysis to provide you with the tools to compare your performance against similar products. And third, deeper key performance metrics broken down by customer feedback source. So yeah, there will be a couple of new things to that dashboard coming. Um, then this next announcement seems to me, I'll have to really watch and see how it turns out, but it seems to me Amazon has found a new placement where they can, per where they can show products. It's the seller profile pages, which is for me a very hidden page. But if you click on a product and in the buy box, you'll see who is shipping that to you. Is it Amazon uh, um, uh, or is it eventually the seller itself? And you can see who's selling it. And on, on these pages and maybe somewhere else, you will be able to find your uh, seller profiles. And on these seller profiles, they will now add products as well from the seller. And people will be able to put products into their cart directly from the seller profile page if this is really visited a lot from customers and they are now adding products there i'm very sure soon there will also be some sponsored products showing up on these pages too but that's just my own opinion on on that um, now, the next thing is really big, and I think we should definitely talk about this next week a little bit more in detail. Tap to review. Simplified seller feedback submission process. I'll read the whole thing because I think it's really important here. Tap to review simplifies the seller rating process, making it faster for you to get the ratings you need to grow your business. Customers have indicated that seller ratings are a critical data point in their shopping journey. Two tap ratings eliminate the written feedback requirement. I repeat it, they eliminate the written feedback requirement, simplifying the end to end review experience. With this change, we anticipate to see an overall increase in ratings submitted by customers. Uh, somebody said, like uh, in the announcement, they said like eight times more ratings. Improve overall rating coverage. This feature is coming soon and will be available world wide. Now, that will be super interesting for me to watch really closely. Uh, if you if you listen to the podcast, we have been discussing reviews and ratings, I think like two weeks ago or three weeks ago, when there was the big announcements uh, or big changes on the search engine result page at the beginning of August or, or somewhere. And um, this will either and or help new products to get to a certain amount of reviews very fast. This will also help potential fraud to be more, much more easier because I don't need to write a hundred letter review, a personalized review message anymore. I just click on four stars. Send. That's it. Um, that would be super interesting. That could also you know, that could help with new products, new product launches, but it could also help age products as they would receive much more reviews as well. So I don't see a difference on new versus older products 
And if on all the products, the review rate increases, then eventually also review modes could still exist even deeper, right? If I, uh, if I sell the most units and I increase my review rate by 8x from 1% to 8% or from 1% to 10%, let's say, and I sell uh, um, 100,000 units a month, then I get a lot of reviews uh, that will create even more review mode against new launch products. So that will be super interesting. Let's talk about that in another episode, maybe tomorrow or next week. Let's see. Next announcement here, Amazon Landing. Amazon Landing provides business financing to help eligible U.S. small and medium-sized businesses reach their goals. So this is not a new thing. Amazon Landing, I think, is uh, is there for a while now. So you can take a credit loan from Amazon. I have heard, I've not done this at all, but I've heard the, um, uh, uh, the interest rates are pretty substantial, substantial, pretty high so to say um but yeah um it seems amazon landing portfolio financing solution now include merchant cash advances which on which pay, repayments are made with a percentage of future sales so i don't i'm not big in the landing business i don't know if this is like a good probably it's a good thing i'm not sure um announcement on amazon landing then an announcement on amazon seller wallet amazon seller wallet was announced last year and I think they uh, brought it back. Um, yeah, uh, uh, I don't know what what what. Da, 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 da. The announcement doesn't read like there's anything new. During this segment, learn about how you pay your vendors with one click and have record of all your payments in one place. Whether you're paying vendors, converting currency, it's transfer funds, Amazon seller wallets, puts you in control. Um, yeah, I don't know what actually is new here on. Seller wallet. It seems that has been available since a year already, and I cannot read any new. It's kind of just a uh, hey, it's there, use it uh, kind of announcement. Buy with Prime. Um, next announcement: Buy with Prime. We have talked about this already a couple of weeks ago. Uh, Buy with Prime has been included in Shopify. They kind of um, yeah said this again here. I read something like. It increases conversion rate by 25% or something like that. There was an initial, I think, official announcement on the About Amazon website that this will increase conversion rate by 25% if you use that on your D2C store. I'm not sure about that, uh, but if it increases conversion rate, maybe it's a good thing to do. Obviously, check out the fees and everything. All right, um, now for the last five updates. Um, potential sales lift. Potential sales lift uses advanced machine learning models and is now integrated in more. We are releasing potential sales lift estimates for a number of additional programs. So sales potential sales lift is something they are having across multiple things, like increase this, and then you have a, a potential sales lift of five. I think it's in the Opportunity Explorer or Growth Opportunities or something like that at the moment. And they will bring it to more like uh, uh, more programs like coupons, um, manage your experiments. Like it will show you, hey, if you test, A, B test this picture, you can get, I don't know, 10% more sales and 20 more catalog attributes. Now you can use this data to prioritize your time and you grow your business. Um, the next one is new cost-saving recommendations, a new feature in the growth opportunities for reducing operational costs um yeah this is focusing on reducing customer returns inventory storage and inbound inventory costs so this is all around logistics i would say and then they announced and this is also pretty interesting uh, they announced the ability for sellers to manage coupons deals and sponsored advertising campaigns from the amazon seller mobile app the amazon seller mobile app seems to have not had this opportunity for coupons and deals and sponsored products. But now you can manage sponsored products on the go and set up your coupons as well on the go through the mobile app, which received an update. The last two announcements, and one of that is very interesting for advertisers and especially also for sellers obviously we are launching new features it's called customer sentiment insights um, this is also later this year available 
in uh, international countries, uh, Europe, and so on and so forth. We are launching new features for customer review insights and enhancing it to customer sentiment insights. So this will customer review insights is currently, I believe, in the product opportunity explorer. You can go into a niche and on a product, and then you will see customer review insights, which is very hidden, I would feel. Um, and they will bring it to a new dashboard, a new menu point called customer sentiment insights. This is a powerful tool that gives you a comprehensive perspective on customer sentiment from reviews. And now, so this was the whole thing, and now customer returns as well. The new update will also let you compare insights at the parent ASIN level and offer a deeper understanding on specific topics that customers talk about in both positive and negative reviews. This was already available. So you would see, okay, what, what are people saying positively and negatively? Uh, in the in the reviews about my product. Upcoming enhancements will let you select different time periods. This is interesting. Analyze trends over time and benchmark customer sentiment for all products against bestsellers. This is also very interesting. So you would see, is my sentiment going up or down? And why and how is the bestseller doing? So this is very, very interesting, I feel. And the last update here, and then we close the session for today, is on view in your room tabletop. So this is a feature for products. Um, I don't know how, how, how you have to set it up, but I think you, you need uh, a 360 degree picture. And then this is kind of an AR feature where you could take your phone, you select the product and then you say uh, view in your room and then you kind of have it in the camera and it's, um, uh, uh, it's AR. Uh, augmented reality putting that product into your room and you can see how that would look like i think this is mainly useful for furnitures um and maybe also only they're available but maybe this will drive also on into other um product categories here um we're excited to share that we currently now support over 200 tabletop product types and we will continue to exp expand the support for more product types in the future all right that's the last announcement from yesterday but there have been uh in the closing session three additional announcements and we will go through them here we're quickly looking at the time we are all um, we, we, we are too long for the quick sessions ship in product packaging program has been announced sustainability so solutions hub new sustainability program and climate patch friendly so all of these three things they fall in the same pattern climate pledge friendly batch this is something ships and product packaging is also the same so amazon is not putting their brown bags around your bag any longer or for eligible products which don't need an additional bag they are not doing this this has an um, environmental impact obviously um so this is a program the climate patch friendly patch badge uh is is a certain program and the sustainability solutions hub is kind of the place where you have all of these things available. And with that, thank you very much for listening today. Hear you tomorrow to episode 90. Have a good Thursday. Thank you. Bye-bye.